ozonolysis of alkynes what is ozonolysis let's see generally this is alkene and this is alkyne that means these are unsaturated hydrocarbons ozonolysis means addition of ozone with unsaturated hydrocarbons today's lesson addition of ozone with alkyne that means ozonolysis of alkynes in this lesson we are going to learn definition of ozonolysis mechanism of ozonolysis reaction and finally examples with importance of ozonolysis so let's begin ozonolysis of alkynes first point is definition of ozonolysis let's see this is alkyne general formula which is treated with ozone in presence of inert solvent like carbon tetrachloride or chloroform then this is hydrolyzed with warm water as a result this carbon carbon triple bond breaks and at the first step this carbon receives one oxygen atom and in the second step it receives hydroxyl group similarly this carbon triple bonded carbon receives one oxygen atom in the first step and in the second step it receives hydroxyl group that means this reaction ozonolysis of alkyne completes in two steps then the product is this carbon turns into carbonyl carbon this oxygen and this hydroxyl group is added to this triple bonded carbon as well that is carboxylic acid another compound is this carbon turns into carbonyl group after the addition to this oxygen in the second step this hydroxyl group is added to triple bonded carbon atom and here alkyl group that is alkyne reacting with ozone in presence of inert solvent carbon tetrachloride and on hydrolysis with warm water carboxylic acid is formed this reaction is known as ozonolysis of alkyne that is a reaction of alkyne with ozone that forms carboxylic acid in presence of inert solvent and on hydrolysis with warm water this reaction is known as ozonolysis of alkyne let's see the next point now the point is mechanism of ozonolysis let's see alkyne is taken ozone first step in inert solvent now this ozone is added to triple bonded carbon atoms in this way alkyl group carbon 
another carbon that is triple bond converts to single bond alkyl group one oxygen atom another oxygen atom another oxygen atom this is ozonide additive compound when this compound is hydrolyzed with warm water then this oxygen moves away and this oxygen is added to water to form hydrogen peroxide at the same time this oxygen oxygen bond breaks now the compound is alkyl group carbon oxygen alkyl group carbon oxygen here single bond then carbon oxygen alkyl group carbon oxygen alkyl group which is acid anhydride or diketone here hydrogen peroxide is formed which is oxidizing agent this oxidizing agent oxidizes this acid anhydride or diketone here then this bond breaks and this carbon gets one hydroxyl group at the same time this carbonyl carbon gets another hydroxyl group now the compounds are two compounds alkyl group carbonyl group this carbon with hydroxyl group that is carboxylic acid another compound this alkyl group this is carbonyl group and this carbon with hydroxyl group that is carboxylic acid is formed this is simple mechanism of ozonolysis of alkyne let's see some examples and importance of ozonolysis now the point is examples and importance of ozonolysis let's see some examples first one is one butane first carbon is with triple bond that is why this is one butane when it is treated with ozone in presence of inert solvent carbon tetrachloride and hydrolyzed with warm water then it becomes carboxyl group and this carbon becomes carboxyl group triple bonded carbon hydrogen triple bonded carbon triple bonded carbon becomes carboxyl group and ch3 ch2 and this triple bonded carbon becomes carboxyl group so when one butane undergoes ozonolysis then formic acid and propanoic acid is formed let's see another example let us take two butane ch3 c triple bond ch3 carbon 2 with triple bond that is why this is two butane when it is treated with ozone in presence of inert solvent and hydrolyzed with warm water then this triple bonded carbon becomes carboxyl group ch3 co oh 
and this triple bonded carbon becomes carboxyl group CH3 CO OH that is when 2 butane undergoes ozonolysis then ethanoic acid is formed 2 moles ethanoic acid from 1 mole 2 butane 1 mole 2 butane produces 2 moles ethanoic acid on ozonolysis let's see another example suppose an unknown alkyne is taken which is treated with ozone in presence of inert solvent carbon tetrachloride and hydrolyzed with warm water then suppose products are ch3 ch2 carboxyl group another product is suppose ch3 ch2 ch2 carboxyl group then what will be the alkyne and in the carbon chain why is the carbon carbon triple bond let's see here this carbon is triple bonded carbon because this carbon is carboxylic group carbon so the alkyne will be ch3 ch2 ch3 ch2 this carbon is triple bonded carbon similarly this carbon is triple bonded carbon because this carbon converts to carboxylic group so this is triple bonded carbon and with this carbon this group is present that is ch2 ch2 ch3 so the compound is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is 3 heptine and in this compound it's very clear that in the carbon chain why is the carbon carbon triple bond that is in the carbon chain carbon 3 and carbon 4 are triple bonded carbon atoms that is applying ozonolysis position of carbon carbon triple bond can be determined this is importance of ozonolysis reaction ozonolysis is applied to determine carbon carbon triple bond in the carbon chain this is all about ozonolysis of alkynes now today thank you very much